we don't have much time left. All right, so let's look at this informal letter and let's tell me, raise your hand, tell me what's wrong here. Okay, what do you see that's wrong? Yes, yeah, thank you for your two answers. All right, what else? Daniel. And it's supposed to be a formal writing because um, down here the teachers have assigned a project to us that. Ah, um, All right, yes, Nana. What other mistakes do you see? Yes, very good. So the comma here, very good. What else do you see? You shouldn't be using words like this, thank you. Can you use gotta even if it's informal? Yes. Cannot, okay, because gotta is not an English word. Guys, I know that sometimes sometimes the word informal makes us think we can write super informally, very casually. Please remember, this is your English exam. I am not asking you to really write a letter to your uncle, okay? This is an English exam. We are still testing you on your English. Yes, Nana. The better is to change to have to. We have to complete as soon as possible, okay? I really would advise you don't do that. That is overly casual. Uh, okay, okay, I will get to that in a minute. Okay, Nana, yes. Any other mistakes? Can we talk about mistakes first? And I will get into all those later because I have four minutes, guys. What other mistakes do you see? Why does it say, can I give Uncle Tom? Yes, very, very good. So this is clearly a mistake. He's writing to Uncle Tom. Why is he saying Uncle Tom's name here, right? So it should be, can I give you a call and talk to you about your childhood? Right, very good. Okay, Daniel. Okay, so there are many errors with this. Okay, let's talk about them one by one. So definitely, first one, we don't want to use the word hi. We use the word dear for everything because dear always suits. Okay, dear whoever, dear Uncle Tom, dear Mr. Wong, whether it's informal or formal or email or letter, dear always works. So we just stick to dear. Okay, punctuation wise, no comma here, no exclamation mark. This should be a comma. Okay, guys, everybody don't beat me first. Let me finish this, okay? All right, so just use dear, okay? We don't want to use anything else. Second thing, no one really mentioned this. Avoid contractions. Again, I know that when we do something informal, it is very instinctive to try and use contractions because we want to be friendly, correct? But again, remember, guys, this is not about can you write a letter to your friend or your uncle. This is about testing English. Okay. Generally, the PSLE markers don't really like contractions, whether it is for formal or informal. So try your best to avoid using them if you can. Sometimes some phrases sound very strange, like we don't really say, do not worry. It's a bit weird, right? It's a bit too formal. So for phrases like don't worry, you can still consider using a contraction. If you are not sure, you don't really, you're kind of afraid, then don't use the phrase, that, oh, you don't have to use the word don't worry in your paper. You know what I mean? So if you're not sure, just leave it out. So it should be, it has been a busy week at school and I am glad that it is finally Friday. All right, it sounds fine. There's no need to use contractions. So as far as possible, try not to use. If in doubt, avoid using that phrase entirely. Okay, so that's contractions. Next one, gotta. Please don't use it. Don't use babe, guys. Here, ooh, gotta, kinda. All these are not acceptable. They are not, it's not proper English. Okay, don't use slang words like salty. Someone asked me if they can say that they are very salty, but please don't. This is slang, okay? It's not proper English. Again, English exam. All right, next thing. Of course, stay aware of your audience. You need to make sure you are writing to the correct audience. So if you are writing to Uncle Tom, you should be saying you. Next thing, thanks. Now this is, again, too informal. We try to avoid these short forms. Why can't you just say thank you, okay? If you want some other ways to say thank you that sounds a little bit more informal, you can say, I would really appreciate it or I would be very grateful if you could help me. Or, um, I would love it if I could give you a call to talk about my project. These are all different ways to express thanks and to express gratitude. Okay, Of course, the sign-off is inappropriate. It is too formal. Again, different schools have different words or different sign-offs that they ask you to use. So some schools may ask you to say love, some may tell you to say cheers, some may say best wishes, 
um, some may ask you to use like your nephew, some may say uh, warm regards or best regards or kind regards, follow your school's guideline. Okay, understand? This is really up to school. They are all fine. You can, if, um, okay, so again, all these different sign-offs are for different degrees of friendship, right? So like love, you would use love more for your family. Um, like your uncle, you can sign off as love. If you're writing email to your mother, you would sign off as love. Cheers, for example, is a little bit too friendly for an uncle. Maybe you use cheers for a friend. <clears throat> the best wishes may be for someone whom you haven't spoken to for a long time. Maybe someone that you're not really that close to. So it really varies. Again, this really depends on your school. Your school mm. will, you know, each school has preferences. All I'm saying is that all these are acceptable in different contexts or different kinds of emails and letters. This one, go back to your own school and ask, okay? Because different schools prefer different sign-offs. So you just follow whatever your school tells you to, okay? Now, one last thing I want to talk about is paragraphs. Again, this differs from school to school. There are some schools which tell their students you don't need to paragraph at all, okay? Some schools will say you only need the space here, you need the space here, and then everything in here can be one block. All right. Some schools will tell you you must put paragraphs in. Yes, you missed it out. Yes, very good. You need a two finger spacing for the front of how are you? Okay, so this has to be a two finger spacing here. But some schools want more paragraphing. Some schools are okay with no paragraphs. So again, this one is really up to your school. Do what your teacher tells you to do. Okay. Again, this is really up to the school. This one is no. Uh, it is um. Like I said, different schools for this have different personal guides. So some of your schools like to have it flush to the side. Some of you, some schools will tell you two finger spacing. Some schools will say flush to the left, but leave a line for a paragraph up to your school. Um, in terms of PSLE markers, they are, I think as long as they can see that there is an indication of a paragraph, it is fine. Okay, I'm going to turn on the mics for everyone. So this is my point. Um, there's no point telling me what your school, your school, your school. Yes, every school has different, slightly different guidelines, okay? Yes, Nana. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm trying to tell you. Every school will be slightly different. It doesn't really matter. Just follow what your school tells you because this is just style, you know what I mean? As long as you have the important parts in, you have the dear, whoever, the salutation, you have your body, you have your sign off that is correct. These are the main things they are looking for. Okay, so depending on your school, whether they ask you to leave two finger spacing or no finger spacing or leave a line or no, don't leave a line, this one, you just follow whatever your own teacher tells you. Okay, there is no one fixed. Everybody must follow the same as long as you have the important parts in. Okay, so just follow. For this one, just follow your teachers. What I do need to tell you are the ones that we went through just now. So like punctuation, grammar, spelling, tone, don't use slang words. Um, Make sure that you have the context audience correct. These are all things that they will definitely mark for. All right? The rest of it is really up to your own school. Okay? This is why it's a little bit confusing for sit writing when you teach people from different schools. Okay, I'm way over time now. That is it for today. 